Hi everyone and welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure Channel. In this series of episodes I will share with you another adventure that we took with few good friends through British Columbia. We have visited many interesting places, encountered spectacular sceneries and even wildlife. We were riding in this series from Calgary, Alberta to Okanagan and Kootenays. Every day new adventure on and off road with some mishaps and tons of fun. Each end of the day we spent camping, no hotels or restaurants, the real deal. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share the footage. Maybe it will give you a new idea where to take your motorcycle through Canadian wilderness and beauty of this still raw country. I will try to show you the routes we took on the beginning of each video. We did have the GPX files loaded on our garments, but unfortunately we were not able to accomplish the original plan, with the exception of the first day. It was too much in some cases for the heavy, fully loaded adventure motorcycles and possibly lack of skills in some cases as well. We have pushed the bikes to the limits and our abilities of riding on some days. Lots of dust, gravel, rocky terrain, steep ascents and descents. Don't mind our conversation on comm systems and on campsites. We are a bunch of Polish fellas, so we speak English and Polish, mixing it all together very often. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. There will be a few in a row and enjoy the video. That's our annual trip. All the boys are together. With, with, we are heading out to BC for 10 days. It's going to be on and off road. I'm not sure about the sound here because it's right by the highway. Um, we just stopped on Lake the Ark just before Kenmore and uh, we are heading towards uh, Radium and uh, right of Highway 93 where or we will head off to off-road section to, towards uh, Canal Flats. So here we just uh, met up and uh, we're gonna start our day kind of late today. It should be a fun day, the weather is great and it looks great weather for the last next couple days. So let's hope for the best. So all the boys are ready and we will probably stop for a coffee in Kenmore first. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we are running kind of late today. Um, normally we leave earlier in the morning by 7, 8, but uh, today we kind of met late uh, 10 o'clock, which is uh, unusual time, but uh, we're taking it easy. Nareszcie go kurde jedzie koło mnie i kurde huku nie robi mi. W tamtym trypie jak za mną jechał kurde przede mną jechał to tylko. There we go, Lake Minowanka, let's go scuba diving. We just got off highway number one, heading on 93 southwest, I guess, towards Radium and Canal Flats, and uh, we'll be taking left somewhere here. Uh, up ahead, uh, uh, 80 kilometers. Yes, sure of them. Do 
is nice view, very nice view. Yeah, zaraz się do, zaraz się do igramy. Just a second ago, uh, on the right hand side here, we had a black bear walking in a ditch and uh, unfortunately my camera wasn't on but uh, anyway we are just uh, six kilometers away from the turn off of the main drag here of highway 93 and uh, we will be heading left um, we'll check it out how that off-road section looks so we are between uh, highway one and uh, radium hot springs so that should bring us uh, to Canal Flats. Yeah, we will be making left 750 meters. Yeah, there is a sign. What does it say? Settlers Road. Oh, oh shit, I think it's a dusty crap. I wonder how dusty. That, that looks like Highway 40. Close the helmet. Ale tutaj nie ten, nie kurzy aż tak dużo jak się jedzie. To od samochodu więcej kurzy niż od nas. No. No mówię, że tak jak smooth. Ale kurzy ten biały tył będzie wszędzie. Myślałem, że mniej. A może nie. Zobaczymy. Tu już jest ludzki. Tu... Ja, ja. Panowie, jesteście tam z tyłu? Ani nie widzę, ani nie słyszę. O, tu jest. Tak, tak, tak. No, na ognisko drzewo. Doba ile tutaj drzewa po bokach leży do palenia. Te markery to są na każdej z tych logging roads, ja zauważyłem, wiesz? Co tak ucichło? Bilski ma najlepiej, na mniej kurzu.
następny drzewo leży powalony kawałek dalej. Kto to walił? Czy to jakiś wichura była or something? I wonder. So we are about what 60, 60 kilometers? No, no, it shouldn't be. It should be less than 60 now. Czy dalej za wami jadę jest ok. Tutaj jest z górki, uważajcie. Górka. I, i, i mostek. O, świet. No, but today, uh, if you fall in those uh, little grooves, that would happen. I'm not sure if it's Gura or what the hell is it. Piaskowiec taki twardy. Twardszy, I mean. Oh, no, 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 no. Ja cię kręcę. To by było Madi. Bogdan, zwolnij trochę, poczekaj na nich. Znalazł się Mariusz? O, oh, that's, that's where the cows belong, eh? Because this is the farm for the cows. How do they get across the street, though? Holy, look at all that sand above. If that were freaking going us. Oh, 
Ale gorąco. Wow, this got hot in here. Oh, when you stand up, you get a little bit of a breeze, so that's a good thing. Oh, did you go the right way? No, Bogdan, the wrong way. We're gonna turn around. Keep it left, guys, keep it left. Ale tutaj wyjedziemy, my przejedziemy. Czy nie? Fisher 24 hours surveillance on site. So that means we can go through there or no? Drugą stroną, there's another one, another side there. Ja bym wolał car wash. <laughs> Spukać się. Hey, we should we should be able to come out through here. Yep. I got dwie kreski, także do Waza Lake to jestem spoko. That's the canal flats, as we said. Okay, the off-road section is finished for today. That was actually a very nice road, eh? If it wouldn't be for a freaking white crop, then would be even nicer. Holy crap, my head is overheated. In this. So we got a first day covered uh, on, uh, out of 10 and uh, another 42 kilometers to go to the campsite. So we still managed to do a decent timing because it's uh, 4.30 at this point and we're almost there at the destination and then we're gonna set up our tents chow something and have some good time as always so there you go guys that's a good start Holy ogurki kiszone, we have ram. It's almost done already. <laughs> ram is done. Oh my gosh. Who finished it? That must be this guy. He's guilty. <laughs> Alright, so we have arrived here to Waza Lake. Same campsite as we were last year, end of the year in September, on the way back from uh, Grey Creek, on the way to Grey Creek Pass. And here we got Bogdan and Robert. Bogdan is all set up as well. He's all ready. I'm ready. And those two meatheads are still gonna be challenging to set up the tents after. In the morning. Yes. Yeah, you, you'll sit here till the morning. So the weather is awesome. We're looking at what? 20 something degrees still at this at this point? No, at least 21 or something. It's warm. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? It's 30, whatever. Yeah. 
So uh, another good thing, why we choose this spot, we're so close to the can, so if you drink, you have a quick run. So this is how she looks after the first day. It was only like 60 or 70 kilometers off-road. It's covered in a white flowery dust. And here we're testing again the shovel that I did the video beginning of the year. <laughs> now, now it's getting the real thing, not just a little test in a bush uh, in Kananaskis, but this is a real wood. 29 bucks or whatever it was, Amazon special. Yeah. Straight from Winnipeg, Polish sausage. And then you wonder why I come loaded on a bike with more shit that I need. <laughs> when you bring a two kilo of kielbasa. <laughs> Polak's gotta have kielbasa and gotta have booze. Absolutely. On her bike, wannabe. Kinga. <laughs> we got a loon lighter.